I've been 100% hooked on Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, or as we call it around here, PUBG. I think that's a horrible, terrible acronym. But whatever. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, for those of you, hello PC fans. Uh, but for the rest of you, what it is is an early access style uh, game on PC, very much in the style of H1Z1, King of the Kill, and like uh, stuff like that. Very much like a Hunger Games Battle Royale style thing where you're dropped into a map, you and 100 players, and it's up to you to survive and win out and kill everyone and become number one. And that's it. Basically, it very much on the surface looks like a lot of other games released in like like DayZ and all that other shit. But here it, it, it's very much more, I think, focused. I think that's why uh, us at Game Ranks here, we really tend to like it. Like all of us like on our lunch break and shit, we hop in and we play uh, doubles matches or something like that because it's cool for quick pick up and play. Like you get around in, it could last a while, it could not, but it, it's always tense because you're dropped on an island, you skydive out, you land, uh, and you're just in a huge open and kind of honestly generic environment. And where other games with similar things like DayZ make you wander around for a long, long time and find maybe one weapon and then you get killed. Here, like I said, it's very much more focused and well paced because uh, the way the map is designed, it's always constantly constraining you and pushing you forward to the center of the map with bombs and force fields that eventually force you to move. Not only that, but the game is designed around engagement and combat and stuff. So you're gonna come across a weapon and some gear fairly early on. So it feels good and it feels satisfying. And at least if you do die, it still feels like you did something along the way. You got a good gun, you fired off a couple shots. You still get that satisfaction. The shooting is very twitchy. It does favor accuracy. I do really like having the ability to control your shots, uh, full auto or semi-automatic and stuff like that. I, I love levels of control like that. It feels way more tactical to me. And I think that one of the best things I could say about this game is that it's one of those games where I, I know it's good because I can do horrible. I can suck at it so bad and screw up and screw up and screw up. But I still still want to keep playing. I want to try again. I want to do better because the game is just that damn good and endearing. I think it is just that way just because of science. It gets your heart rate going. It gets your adrenaline going when you're in a tense moment and it's just you surviving and you square off against another player or you get that rush of getting the drop on another player. That feels good, you know? It just, it just really is exciting. But that rush really works as a good way to incentivize you to like improve your game. In me striving to do better lately, I found myself working towards that like for I don't like okay like here's an example I, instead of creeping around I wanted to get better at actually shooting and encounters so to practice I'd almost drop myself more into populated action areas to like get better at just shooting dudes the game makes me want to get better and have more fun but I will say this game is an early access game and it's a complete mess it feels like an early game it's not very fleshed out uh, thankfully it's fairly stable at least in my experience so far and there are enough options here and there but it's still got a lot of craftastic elements like getting in and out out of cars feels weird just some actions and some keys and some presses just don't feel right it feels very much like an early indie game but like i said the design focus here reigns it in and i hope once the quality catches up to the actual concept and design i think this could be one of the craziest games it already is it's blowing up obviously a lot of people have been playing it it's been huge on twitch people like watching it because it is exciting and i just see a lot more potential for this game down the road maybe it'll burn out maybe people will burn out on it uh, I'd, I'd like to see a lot more uh, complications added and a bit more things going on down the line but as of right now i'm having a fucking blast man not only that though since this game is blowing up so much i can't wait to see triple a developers honestly take this on it, it's bound to happen at some point i mean something like a call of duty game is gonna have a comp mode eventually in it and I can't wait to see other developers spins and takes on it and like I know a lot of that craptasticness and that early accessness is bad but sometimes it makes for good moments when you're playing with friends and weird stupid shit happens it's fun it's hilarious I've seen people get killed with cars I've seen people get killed with all kinds of dumb things falling off of buildings it just really does make for a good time and if you have a PC that's even somewhat capable I suggest checking it out and if you're on console since it is gonna drop on Xbox I, I would definitely say keep your eyes on it it, it might be a weird transition since it is very much the PC gamers game. Like, it's PC gaming as hell. I do still have some high hopes to see, like, a new community pop up around the game on Xbox. I think what I would like down the line in terms of, like, a wish list, I'd, I'd like a couple more options and how to tackle things. Like, maybe a little bit more sniper rifle action, but not enough to make it unbalanced. I'd also like ways to distract players, like maybe, like, flare guns and weird things. Also, more ways to set traps and stuff and really trick people and fuck people up. I'd also like more vehicles, more fun, wacky, ridiculous vehicles, which it does 
seem like they're going that way, but I would like them to really go all in on that. And I'd like them to go all in on the craziness anyway, since the concept of the game makes no sense. There's no story, there's no lore, so why put them in this realistic location? I'd like more wacky, dumb, weird locations and more crazy things going on within them, you know? Basically, I just like the game to lighten up a little bit, but I really still like it the way it is. I do. I just wanted to make a quick video on it because some of you guys have been asking me about it and it is kind of been like my go-to game I play a little bit every day, so I couldn't help but just at least get my first thoughts out there. It is a really tough game with, like I said, some satisfying moments, you know? You're gonna suck for a while, but you're gonna want to play more. And I think that often at the end of the day, like, you know, despite it being crappy and maybe there's some lag and, and a lot of glitches, at the end of the day, that can make it a good game. So let me know what you do think about PUBG or whatever the hell you want to call it. Let me know what you want to call it, first of all. Well, we have to have like a meeting on this, all of us, you guys. But let's talk about Player Unknown's Battlegrounds down in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. If you're on the outside looking in, what do you, what do you think? Are you feeling on it or do you think it just looks boring? If you have been playing it, what are some of your best moments. Let's talk about anything player unknowns down there. I'll be with you guys talking. If you got any more hate for me, send them to me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Jake Baldino. But thanks for listening to me ramble about all this stuff. Clicking the like button does help me out over here on this humble little side channel of mine. But I'm Jake Baldino. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe because video games. Why did I say it like that?